the end of the day, it was, I was very pleased with how we came out of the, at the beginning of the football game. The concern this week was how we would start the game because we had a, a, a break in school, so we had time during the day, so I was concerned if they were going to be ready and, and prepared, especially early in the football game, but there's no doubt they came. And that was that was a great effort and a great prep by the players. They really came out focused on it. How huge of a statement was David's first touchdown? Well, it, that's David Johnson. I mean, it's, every time he goes on the football field, he does something great. But to start the game like that, I think, you know, really to the opponent, if you see the guy play, and that's his first run, it, it probably hits you. But also the concern when you score that quickly is that it disarms you a little bit that a lot of teams will come back and, and counter back after a big run. So we had to be cautious to make sure that we played the whole football game, not just one play. How different is this team and this program without me? I hope not to find out. You know, it'd be the best answer because, you know, he's he's a great player and very evident about that. But, you know, there's I think our defense is pretty good. And I think that uh, our offensive line and, and, and uh, I think Brayden Lee was getting better every week he steps on the football field. And it's nice to have three senior receivers that are playing healthy and strong right now. So I think with all the the way that we can spread the field, I think allows him to be even more successful. That is complimented by sort of players. You just take David out at the end, just because you're way way ahead for cautionary things. No question. I mean, that's 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 the one thing that we'll we'll play every down, win every game, and, and take it till the end. But at that particular time, I thought it was it was time that uh, you know that we, we were in good shape at that point. So, we, so he's you know, healthy. He's healthy. Mark, what about the defensive effort, especially early when you forced the two turnovers? How uh, how important was that to uh, the outcome? I thought the the. The start of the defense was probably more critical than the start of the offense because their whole team, I, in my estimation, was the strength of their offense. I thought they had a great quarterback and the running back was phenomenal. And when you're to, to playing a team that's averaging 40 points a game and 500 yards of offense, you know they can score with anybody. So I thought it would be a somewhat of a shootout. But when our defense stepped up and got the two early turnovers and then shut down the run game for the most part. Phenomenal job by the whole entire group. Okay. Well, the D, our defensive line is, I mean, we're playing them all, too. You, 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 you got to look out there who's out there every, every time. But they're playing as a group. I mean, they're they're telling the other guy when they're ready for a to catch the win, and they are doing an outstanding job of stopping their run. I, mean, I think we sent five guys one time today. Other than that, we sent four. And when we can send four guys and play coverage, then it's going to make everybody better. How do you carry this over then to next week down at uh, uh, down at Normal? Well, it's that's another whole challenge now. I mean, there's, it's that'll be very difficult. It's, it's a huge challenge going on the road. We know what they are. Uh, another great running back, another great quarterback. This defense that we're playing next week is phenomenal. So, and yep, we played them already this season. So that you've already played them once. And on top of that, they're a great football team. I mean, think it's, it's, it's a huge challenge for this team. Do you think they'll have a chip on their shoulder now that you guys beat them here and now that they get you guys there? I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure they'll be we're set about that. I don't know. I, I'm going to take care of our football team to get ourselves ready to play because I know you know they got the MVP in the league at running back. Here. And uh, I think the quarterback was the player of the year and the newcomer of the year. So they got all the awards, so we need to take our football team down there and play the team. Gotcha. The league, the Valley went three for three today. I just, the statement that makes credit to the conference. Well, I think it, it, it verifies, or I don't want to say justify, I think it verifies what people have been saying, that this is a strong league. Uh, South Dakota State went two, Montana State, and Indiana State went two, Eastern Kentucky. So you had two teams going the road, in the land, which makes it even tougher. So I think that's verifies the fact it's a very strong league and the amount of bids that we got is very well deserved and hopefully everybody will continue to win. As far as your team, you won by the largest playoff margin for you and I tonight. I don't you realize that, but what does that mean for, for the Panthers? Well, again, it means that it means that we're playing good right now. We, we're playing consistent. I think the offense is doing good. The, the special teams are really good. And, and the defense is playing.
good right now. So we've got the balance, but every week you play gets tougher and stronger, and the players get better, and more is at stake, and the stakes go up again now. So the stakes have never been higher. Coach, you mentioned on Monday uh, in preparation for the game this evening your concerns that you had specifically with the rushing attack of Stephen at Boston, more specifically the running back in Gus Johnson. Uh, I know that you've talked about the defensive effort as a whole, but uh, just talk about uh, holding them to 90 yards rushing for the game. Well, that was that was a compliment to defense. I thought that how they how they executed the plan and. You know, we talked about the D-line, the linebackers, and the coverage. The coverage was good. So once again, you know, it was a solid performance against a very good rushing football team and a quarterback that I thought was outstanding. So that was a great football team. Stephen Up put on put on a great season this year. If you watched him on film, we put a lot of time and effort into him because I thought this was probably one of the better teams uh, in the field because they were hot too coming off their season with the quality players they had. Bit of a mixed bag for Beyonce. It made his five completions count. I guess how would you assess his day uh, throwing football? Well, he won the game. I mean, he was a, he was a part of the win. So that's all that matters. And he, he, I thought he had uh, some nice passes that hit at critical times because they had to be put where they belong because they're in the middle of the field. And then uh, he missed a couple that he should have hit too. And he'll be the one to tell you that. But at the same time. He hit some critical plays early, uh, Lehman in the seam, and, and, uh, and even on uh, the master on the sideline. So uh, the number one thing you want to do is use our offense so we can spread it with width and spread it with depth. And by hitting Lehman in the, in the seams, that spreads it vertical. And then you can have yards like this for David Johnson. Is he, how's he doing health-wise? Who's that? Brian. He's good. He's, he, we're, you know, we're, all, we're all sore. We're all trying to get back as healthy as we can, as quick as we can. And that was a little bit of a concern this week, but they all take their, I tell them two aspirins and a Band-Aid will fix anything. So we, 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 we do that with all these guys. And they're all sore right now. But when you got when you play with, you know, when you're playing for something like this, on Saturday they seem to come around because everything's out on the line and the stakes are high. So, you know, the adrenaline cures a lot of things. Back to David really quick. Is there anything left for him to do that would surprise